guys, it's Quincy Henderson again. So now I am finally finished with my updated, again, custom Jurassic World figures. The only two I have so far. And I will be making the custom figures of the, you know, the kids, Zack and Gray, if I ever get a chance to do so. So, I will be doing those soon, if I ever get the time. So let's take a closer look at Owen. Again, the second, no, the third time I've updated this, or better yet, the second time i updated it. Because, well, I'm trying to get it right. So now, so far, I've been getting this right. So, now let's just go on to the head sculpt first. Um, the head sculpt is obviously the same. Except there's a major change because the, the hair color now is a dark, like a darker brown color, or the regular brown. But, apparently I've been looking it up. It's actually like, I think it's in between the light and dark, or better yet, light and brown, whatever. But anyways, that's as far as I can go. It's the way it should be. And you can see that the, the freaking vest is the same, no question to ask. The shirt is updated because it looks, because it actually is a gray, not an actual blue color. Or like a dark light gray, I don't know, but the the film made it look like it was in the blue. And obviously I, I think I actually painted these up as a darker gray color, like a dark gray color, the silver belt part. Might need to add some more paint on that, but I might just leave it alone. And the pants are apparently a blue color, which kind of irritates me because I've been looking at some uh, behind-the-scenes footage of Chris Pratt as Owen, obviously getting into the stunts in action. Apparently, I saw the pants colors. They, I think it's kind of weird that they keep changing a different color, or I don't know. I don't know because I saw his pants like a brownish color in the scene where he's about to say that. And save the person who's almost got attacked by Velociraptors, and then next, you know, when he's getting chased by the Indominus Rex, his pants is blue. Okay, I don't get it. But, <sighs> blue is as far as it can go. And you see the boots are not painted in. And they'll never be painted in. I'll leave it that color. And if we can flip in the backside, make him face the freaking scaling. At the backside, it's obviously painted all over, and we also, and I also got the holster painted in fairly good this time. And, well, you see this white part here. I couldn't get that painted in because I'll mess up everything. So I just had to leave that there. And we see the back of the vest, back of his shirt, and the back of his head. So, yeah. So now I'm done with Owen. This is my, I think, final time updating this. So pretty much, yeah, that's Owen. So now let's get on to Claire Deering. Apparently the same darn figure, like usual, but this is the first time I've updated her by giving her, obviously, a cloth skirt. Thank God I did. And now let's just go over the basic detail. So the detail, like I said on my Kenner video, I showed you her face does not look like Bryce Dallas Howard, but her face looks like Carrie Fisher, obviously, because I used a Star Wars base figure. And the hair color, I managed to get like this much. I don't know what the hair color it's kind of kind of basically off for me because I uh well I explained in my update video my 300 subscribers update video you might even check that out in case you've forgotten so anyways that's good right there and then we can see the uh, see the white uh, the white jacket obviously and the now lightly purp uh, light purple shirt which I got into the painted you can see we run down to the white colored belt and the skirt and the legs, which is, well, fly over. Her shoes are painted silver. I didn't even really paint it silver. I just left it that. Because I really have nothing to tell you to do with it, what to do with that whatsoever. But anyways, backside is just basically just this. That's what it is. Although, that's clear. So anyways, here's something I could have been doing right here. A comparison, like a size comparison. So let me compare Owen to the Velociraptor Blue, which I reviewed on my channel. And you can see, you know how big that is? That's like a... Jesus, look how big that is! Well... I'll probably ignore it. It doesn't matter. Well... I'll get another raptor to compare it with you. Now let me compare this to one of the Titan Raptors. Delta. As you can see, look at this. That is one huge ass raptor. 
Now let's compare Owen and Claire both this time. To Rexy, which is my chomping Tyrannosaurus. This is the head size. Works perfectly. I need to scooch over a little so I can say this is the perfect length for a Tyrannosaurus. That's how big he is, or she is compared to Owen and Claire here. Wow. Well, let's see how this dang thing can get dwarfed by the Stomp and Strike T-Rex coming out. Because the Stomp and Strike T-Rex is a little bit bigger than this. Now let's compare Owen and Claire to the one and only Juvenile Indominus Rex. Let me go put him down real quick. Okay. Wow. I think that's like Titan Raptor size right there. If you guys are actually new to the channel, or better yet, you've probably seen my videos before. If you want to know what I actually use for these figures, the base figure on Owen here actually is the head of a Dash Randar figure from Star Wars Shadows of the Empire in 1996. Power of the Force line. And the body is from a Han Solo figure from the Jabba the Hutt 2 pack, 1997. Power of the Force. Kenner. Both figures, figures based off of Kenner. And the Princess, I mean, not Princess Leia. Well, it is Princess Leia figure. So, anyways. The Claire figure is based entirely off the Princess Leia figure, but her legs and the skirt was from the Princess Leia collection, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia 2 pack, from 1997 or 1998, which is the same year. But these are all just Star Wars based looks, so pretty much this is how I got them.